Hey guys, yours truly in Zania here with a new uh, second, rather, uh, tutorial, I guess, uh, beginner's thing. Um, this one we're going to do, we're going to cover something that we haven't seen yet, something that's new to the game, forestry. Uh, I like it. it. It's actually a lot of fun. Uh, I spent two hours earlier today just logging. Anyhow, here's how you get started. I mean, this is, I'm doing low budget here just for you guys that, you know, don't have a ton of money. So we're going to do the lowest budget deal of forestry and just realize, keep it in mind, that the better equipment, of course, is going to make it easier. So the first thing you want to buy is a chainsaw. It does not matter which one of these you buy. This one will be one, two, three. You can, as your number keys on the keyboard, so you can swap between them. So it's going to cost you $1,000 to get into it. All three of these seem to do about the same thing. Um, I bought this one. Here, let's buy this one just for giggles. And we'll buy that one, too, and then we can tinker with all three of them. But um, next, you want to go into the forestry equipment. Now, the next thing you need is a trailer. All right, minimum cost, you have to get at least this kind of trailer. And the only way that you can use that kind of trailer is if you already have a front-end loader or one of these telehandlers. You need one of these two and a log fork. Or if you get this one, you need the log fork. So either one of these will work. But you have to get a log fork. Now, this guy is 85000 This guy is 165000 Or you can just go with this guy that's only 54000 That's what I did. I bought this one. So you've got to, you got a base investment right now of $55,000. Um, and trust me, you will make this money back fast off logs. Logs are like the, the, new, the new mowing in this game. It's just ridiculous. And it's actually pretty fun. You have a blast doing it. Uh, at least I did. Anyhow, you buy one of those, you get out. Um, I'm going to show you a third step because I'm doing it right now. And uh, that is you go into forestry equipment and you buy the, uh, this, the damn con, uh, which is a, this piece of machinery plants new trees in the ground. You can buy pallets of saplings at the garden center to fill this planter. And that's what we're doing here at the uh, garden center. If you look on your mini map, we're clear down here in the bottom left near field 35 at the garden center. We've brought our, uh, you have to bring the tree planter with you. I've been using it. You come over here at the garden center to this, and then you open up the menu and you buy a pallet of saplings. It costs 40 bucks, and you get 16 saplings. I think it's 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15. No, you get 20. My bad. All right, now, this is the thing most people think, oh, well, it's on a pallet. i got to have a pallet jack. No, you don't. That's the cool thing about this. The wide side, you approach the wide side in reverse. So let's turn around so that we can see. And then we'll back this sucker up over the wide side with the pallet or the tree thingy in the up position. It is not lowered. It's in the up tote position and you just back over it. When you get to a certain point right there, it'll tell you to refill it, hit the right bumper, it throws it up on there. Now what I'm gonna try and do, because I'm gonna plant a couple of these, is I'm going to see if I can put another one on there. I don't think you can, but we're going to see if you can. I'm going to buy another pallet. It's only 40 bucks. Worst case scenario, we'll leave it here, and I'll come back and get it off camera later. So uh, let me buy another one. All right. It would be nice to be able to carry multiple pallets. Um, this brings into mind, if you do happen to have a front-end loader, you could buy you know, eight or ten of these pallets, put them on a uh, trailer, because there are trailers in the game now, you put them on a trailer. Yeah, you can only put one on here at a time. All right, so let's get out of here. And I bought a field specifically to plant trees in. It was like 20 grand. Uh, I made enough money off my first set of logs. So I'm going to pause this, and I will see you guys when I get to the field, and we will plant these. All right, here we are. We are back at the uh, at the little field that I bought. You can see barely there are the trees that I've already planted. Actually, I need to go forward ahead a few more. Because you can see that I've planted some here, and I'm just following the same path that I was on. And I'm going to jump back in right here. Go up just a little bit, and then I will hold the left bumper. I will lower the tree planter. Watch it kind of dig down into the ground. And then you turn it on, and it starts going. And that first tree is going to pop out right there as soon as I start moving. There it is. So I'm going to keep going, planting these trees. And this is tree planting. Nothing exciting. I'm just keeping them very well spaced because trees like to fall and hit each other. And it's not it's not fun when they get locked up because then you can't you can't get the pieces of wood. Um, and I'm just driving. That's all I'm doing. I'm driving. I'm gonna let one more tree pop out, even if it pops out off. 
it don't matter. Just wherever it goes. There we go. Now I'm going to turn the tree planter off. Left bumper X, I turned it off. It don't like to turn off. All right, let's lift it. Maybe that'll turn it off. There we go. A little glitchy. No big deal. But I like to keep them like this, spaced out pretty well. I'm sure it's not something that you have to do, but it's just something that I'm going to do because, like I said, they will bounce against each other and get hung up on each other and stuff like that when you go to actually cutting them down. So I'm going to continue planting these and I will be back in a few minutes when I grab my chainsaw and I take that machine over there to the right you see, that uh, log trailer, and we will go cut down a couple trees and show you how to load them up and kind of time lapse it so that it don't take the, the hour that it took me and then we'll go sell them. So I'll see y'all in a few minutes. All right, here we go, we're back. Um, what we're gonna do now is we've got our chainsaw out, like I said, number one brings out the first one, number two brings out the second one, number three brings out the third one. we we'll use the third one for right now, it's kind of kind of cool. All right, anyhow, you find a tree, doesn't matter. In this game, right now, it seems just about any tree you can cut down, um, whether you've grown it or not. Now, I'm going to try growing my own. Now, what you can do is you can hold control or whatever key you've set it to, to uh, to squat, to crouch down, mine's control. And uh, let's see, you line up that blue thing kind of at an angle. Pretend you're, you know, you really cut the tree down, so you want to cut it at an angle so that it'll slide. And you want to also cut as much of it as you can. That one cuts pretty quick. And there it goes. Now get out of the way. Are we going to fall? Gonna do something silly. All right, let's cut a little bit more off of it just because it got hung up. Now, this is something that I've noticed happens quite often. One thing you can do is get into your vehicle, get into this bad boy. Is it gonna reach? No. So we'll drive up some. There's one thing you can do, and just help it knock down. All right, most of the time, though, it was the, the things was pushing against that bridge or something. I don't know exactly what was going on. But, uh, yeah, that was more, more than likely what most of it was. Pull this machine up beside it, and then uh, hop out. Now, this is early in, early game, low budget. So you get your chains all out, and you come along, and you cut it in chunks. Now, you can limit just by kind of getting up close to where the limbs are and turning everything around and just kind of mashing the uh, the L1 button or the bumper, the left bumper, and it'll kind of limb the tree. And your machine, the big machine that you buy, will automatically limb them for you. It's pretty cool, and it'll cut them, slice them into sections for you. Um, but, you know, I can't write yet because we can't afford it. It's like, uh, it's very expensive, several hundred thousand dollars. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it off by hand. We're going to do two trees. So you're taking left trigger and right trigger, rotate your, your chainsaw, the blade, get it straight up and down so that you're cutting straight chunks, hold control and crouch if you have to, walk around. Now this can get aggravating because this, there we go. All right, there's one chunk. That's a pretty good size chunk. I like them about that big actually. I'm going to try and cut this limb off just because it looks stupid. There we go. All right, another, we want to get another one right about in here. Ooh, that was perfect. All right. We cut down through. All right, you've seen how that works. I'm going to pause. I'm going to cut the rest of the tree up, and then we'll start loading. All right, so we've got it cut. You jump back into your vehicle, and now you want to jump back into this. First thing you want to do is hit the X key, which puts your little support legs down. And now, play around for an hour and figure out the controls, because that's about how long it took me to finally get the basic controls, you know, under, 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 to where I could do them without completely screwing the pooch. So, let's see, I need that one to go out just a little. 
and then we need to close it and now lift it whoops wrong way all right let's spin it oh it's wrong way okay that should be good and now let's rotate it over yeah this is the work that's involved in logging by the way it, it's it's this is why it takes so long now if you get good with this machine you could probably be doing it half the time that i am but i'm not too great with the machine so oh come on trade cut you down next all right and you got to think about how you're putting them in there too because that does kind of matter all right whoa a bit too much all right whoa there we go what the heck is going on here yeah. yeah it's a little finicky a little freaky but you kind of get the hang of it after a little bit or that's what happened the arm went out that button. There we go. You got to be careful, especially when you're playing with the gamepad, and make sure that you're not accidentally pressing a little down or a little up whenever you're doing certain things. All right. All right, we should be able to let that one go. Watch it fall into place. All right. Yeah. And you just sit here and keep doing this until you get all of the logs onto the trailer. See, I've extended it all the way back out again without paying attention almost. Okay. Bring this in. There we go. Let's take and uh, let's do it the other way. There we go. Let's put it in like that. All right. Drop that down. Raise that up. Drop that down. Put that down. Drop that down. Put that down. So we can release it now. It'll fall right into place. Good log. All right. I'll see you in a few minutes after I've loaded this whole trailer up. All right, and we are back with a full trailer. I mean, I got so I got it. Look at that big old massive log on there. See it? That sucker long boy right there. That's gonna be a whole lot of money. Yeah, the way that they uh, scale the pricing on the logs is the length of the log and the uh, straightness of the log. Apparently, not necessarily the thickness. So I think there's the pond right there. Yeah, okay. And what you do is there's multiple ways to do this. You can unload them into the pond if you'd like, or you can just be a daredevil like myself. Now I just, I'm gonna walk up here and I'm gonna throw one log down because I just wanna see how much that big one's worth. So, uh, Basically, you toss them into that pond right there. And if you look on the mini map, this is where we're at. We're at the top left-hand corner by the lumber yard. And there's this pond. And there's a little information thing there that tells you, you know, what you do, what to do here. But I want to see what this one big, this is the biggest one I've ever cut. All right, so let's see if we can't get it off of you Balls. Just the one. Get it? Oh, barely. All right, let's uh, this one like this. Oh, yes. And there it goes. Good golly. How much was that? I don't know. I'm going to have to check the video. That there was an expensive log. How much was I at? Good golly. I just said the number out. I don't know. I was at 30 something. 33 I think. I think I got about 10k for it. Now, 
That's one way to unload your trailer. Or you could do it the Inzania way. I get right here on this little slot. It's pretty straight down. Kind of like a boat dock. Keep it going straight. Watch it. It's 43. Oh, 79. 53, 63, 73. That's 35000 $35,000? Yeah, I granted it. took me like, uh, oh, I guess about 20 minutes. Maybe 25 minutes to cut all of them up. That's, that was only, now what I just unloaded was four trees. That was four trees cut cut thrown on here and then dumped so yeah this way it works I went back and checked I do not know how long the it takes for trees to grow like if you plant them how, what the uh, ratio is for the game but I will find out annotated on here later so there will be an annotation right in the back here that says something along the lines of it takes uh, four real game days you know whatever whatever it is it's probably, I'm sure it's a few days and uh, we'll add that in so yeah that's the basics now there are some more vehicles and uh, we can go over them real quick before we end this episode if I can get my thing in forestry equipment okay that's just a stumper that'll uh, machinery cuts the tree stumps you place it over cuts stumps That is a trailer, more trailer, it's a bigger trailer. Um, that is the tree planter. That one transports, that's the one that you've seen me using. All right, these guys, that's a wood chipper. That lets you turn them into chips, turn logs. You put a log in there, it turns it into chips. Uh, this game calls trunks. You know, it's the trunk of the tree. It's not just the tree trunk that's left over, not the stump. So don't get those mixed up. Now this bad boy, as soon as I can get up to this, I want this. Because this is the Mac Daddy right here. This one uh, is the same thing as this, except it's one piece, and it loads. It, you load it with it. And it's got a little bit bigger holder in the back, but it's a lot more stable. This is the Grand Poobah. This thing, you will pull it up next to a tree, and I will do a video on using these two. Just, I can't yet. Uh, right now, there is no easy way to get money other than logging, and logging takes a long time. So as soon as I can save up enough money, I'm going to buy these two, and I will do a video on them. Uh, this bad boy, you pull it up next to a tree. You attach it to a tree. It's got the two little open and closed claws like you saw me use on the other trailer. You hit a button, and it saws the tree off. It lifts the tree up off the ground, and then it runs the tree through it as it de, uh, as it delimbs the tree. And every eight feet or so, it cuts the tree and keeps doing that so that you just basically sit there and... Bang, 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 bang. Okay, let's, uh, time to load. Let's jump in the other vehicle and load. So you'd use this big boy to go cut down like six or eight trees, and then you'd come in with the buffalo, and you'd pick them all up and go sell them. Yeah, buddy. So that's where the money's at right now. Um, that's where I'm going next. Uh, I'm going to do everything that I can to make money. And that's where it's going to be spent. I'm going to, uh, I am going to do a little bit more with my other stuff. But, you know, this isn't about my let's play. This is about the, the, uh, the, the wood logging and, or woodworking logging industry. And, uh, yeah, I hope that it benefited everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask them. I figured out a lot more than what I'm, you know, giving out on these, uh, these little tutorials. I'm trying to keep them pretty basic. Uh, so that just any blow joke can just sit down and okay, that's what Zane said to do. Let's go do this and uh, They'll be able to get hit the ground running and know exactly where they're coming from All right. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day